Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application. And in this specific video, we'll be fixing one problem. So let me show you what the problem is. Here you see this little hamburger icon. And if I click on this icon, then our sidebar menu is collapsed, right? And we can navigate to different pages and it is still collapsed. We can perform filters. Yeah, we can do anything. But remember, this is collapsed. But if I refresh this page, then this sidebar menu is expanded right but actually we don't want to make this happen if someone have already collapsed then and refresh the page then we want to remind this sidebar menu is collapsed but currently if i refresh this page then it is back to expanded state so there are various ways to fix this specific problem but we will be using uh, local storage to fix this as local storage allows us to store key value peer locally within our browser so throughout this video, you will learn how to use local storage. So make sure to watch till the end of this video. So now let's get started. First of all, let me open up the code editor and let me go to app.blade.php file. And over here, let me go to the body tag over here. And over here, if I add the class called sidebar collapse, then our sidebar menu is collapsed, right? And you can also notice, let me open up the uh, console and over here if we click on this and if you notice on this body element here sidebar collapse class is being added right if i click on this again then that class is removed so for now let me remove it and we need to listen for the click event on that uh, hamburger icon so here for this hamburger icon let me define the id and let's give it a name let's say toggle menu icon okay and then we can listen for this uh, click event on this element so let me go to the end and let's add a script tag and we want to run this script after the document is loaded so we need to do document the add event listener dom content loaded after the document is loaded we want to run this code and for now let's define the constraint called let's say toggle menu icon and we can do document dot get element dot by id and the name is toggle menu icon also let's define the body so for that we can do document dot query selector body and to listen for the click event on that toggle menu icon we can do toggle uh, menu icon add event listener and we want to listen for the click event right and then and inside this we'll be using local storage to store the state of our sidebar uh, menu either it is collapsed or expanded so here we'll be adding one conditional to check if our body element consists of the class called sidebar collapse so let's do that part if uh, in our body body dot class list dot contents if our body element contains this class which is sidebar collapse then we'll set the item to our local storage using local storage that set item and we need to pass key and value key is the first argument and value is the second argument so for key let's give it a name called sidebar state and the value let's give it a name called expanded so here we are saying that if our body element consists this class then we are setting the sidebar state as expanded and otherwise uh, we'll do the opposite so else and inside else we'll do the opposite so local storage dot set item sidebar state is collapsed right and now let me open up the browser and show you where it is being stored so let me open up the console and let me go to application tab over here and inside of local storage we need to click on this url and if you click over here then we have the sidebar state is collapsed right if you click it again let me click it again and this is expanded right so let me show it again it is collapsed it is expanded so we can simply use this state to check if it is either expanded or collapsed so over here after this uh, we can do const 
sidebar state let's get the state first so to get the state we need to do local storage dot get item and we need to pass the key that we have defined so the key is sidebar state okay and after this we'll add the conditional let's say if the sidebar state is collapsed then we'll add the class in our body element okay so we do body dot class list dot add sidebar collapse so if it is collapsed then we are adding the sidebar collapse class in our body tag so by default we do not have that class uh, when we refresh the page so we don't need to do anything for the expanded state so now we can test it out let me uh, refresh it again let me close this and if i click on this this is collapsed but if i refresh this page then this is still collapsed right which is great we can switch to different pages we can click on it again to expand it if i refresh it it is expanded but if i click on collapsed and refresh it it is still collapsed right so this is how we can use local storage to handle such things so i hope this video was really helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one